I'm just gonna quickly talk over this matchup. So this matchup is a little scary, except for the fact that he brought TFGP, which is one of the decks that we're looking to beat up. So we're just gonna try to 2-0 this, and then maybe just beat Nami. In this case, we're still banning sound because we're expecting the ban onto Lee Sin Zoe. This just has positive matchups into all three of these. Now, if I was thinking that he would be banning like a Lee Senna, then I would want to ban Nami. Um, because I can beat Scion with both of these decks, but not with this deck. But I think that's just a little bit too five head. Like he would have to think ahead of me, and then I would have to be thinking ahead of him. So let's just keep this basic and think that he's going to ban Lee Sin Zoe. So we just ban Draven Scion. And we'll probably queue up a Lee Senna first. This version, three double ups, one harpoon, but only two Mirai Wardens. He is on two parlays instead. So we do have to be careful about that. Classic for 333. Three, three. And just try to make sure that his double ups or his tenors aren't active at early on. But this should be fine, just because there is a TFGP, which we are at least feeling very comfortable into. Maybe we can draw Shellfolk in one of these games. And his Nami list looks pretty much standard. He only has one super cool star chart, but he has one pick a card. And then one Astro, one Salvage, which seems to be like the tech that's been kind of floating around. It's not much to decide, let's just make our decision. And now if he still bans like a Lee Senna, then like Lee Sin is probably even better for us. And this is still good. Again, yep, expecting a ban onto the uh, lease. And we'll queue up this because I think we can beat both of these decks. Um, and then save the Shell Folk for last again. If we lose the TFGP matchup, then that's going to be a little bit scary, but I don't expect to lose it. Looks like a cute Nami first. Nope, never mind. Okay, right, so pull up his list. And let's do it. Ooh, that's a few too many spells. Keep, we'll pro probably have to reserve one of these for a gangplank, meaning that we need to find some units. It's not the hand I was hoping for. Okay, so we can stall out for a very long time at the very least. And if we don't have units, you just can't double up. Missing turn one is quite big. If he only has stone stackers here, which it's more likely than not, he's going to actually miss another turn. So this is looking really good for us so far. Even though we don't have much going on, he spent two turns not proccing towards his GP, and then we have Ruination by the time that comes down. We'll try to rely on this Senna to win us the game. He only has one Monster Harpoon that we really need to be worried about. And I should probably try to save this for a GP. If possible. Passes again, wow. So this is like a Lecturing Yordle. We can't really do much. We can like Aftershock Mystic. Which, honestly, I think we just will. Not great, but his game plan is so slow. Oh, 
He gets his first proc on turn four. Despair. So in these kind of games where our hand is just this slow, ideally we hit something like a Ledros. So we need to draw through our deck a little bit faster. Um, we can still pass here. He's the one who needs to be leveling his GP. Okay. I can play Senna here. And I don't think we want to challenge the keg, just because he's the one who wants to be rocking GP this turn. So it looks like he's just going to cast Make It Rain, which is fine. This going on a 2 sucks a little bit, but we weren't going to hook that for the reason as shown here. We're just going to attack and deal 4, which is a good start. And ideally we can try to level up the Senna somehow. It's not very easy for him to deal two. He'd have to put two pings into it, which could be like a TF. He has a lot of them for sure, or he like can try to double up it, which I can easily deny, or I might not even need to care about. We'll see. Kind of bizarre s state. Okay. I don't mind like a withering mist here if he tries to go for the ping. We have a thermo, for example. It's not very good. Say. We can probably let this Senna die. Like, if he goes for a stick, maybe we just thermal this for two. Oh, okay. And now he can't do it anymore because I can just thermal the keg. Like, if this is a TF, like, gold card, he's, like, screwed. Not screwed, but puts him in an awkward spot. Like he's not going for all oh, buddy pal. Not one more family, not one more soul. I guess that's a third proc for his GP. There's a Ledros. Now we can play it as slow as we want. I'll start here, and so I can get a second darkness, because I think that's slightly more important than anything else I can do. Because of this Ledros, I feel very confident he's going to have a hard time racing us down. If he drops like a Gangplank leveled in the following turns, we just have Ruination as well. We also just have Senna, Fast Speed, Despair at the worst, just because we have 6 healing in hand. This gives us another darkness. And again, it's very hard for him to deal with the Senna here. If he wants to like TF gold card this turn, that's quite a big commitment of mana. And then he can't really develop into Ruination, doesn't level his GP either, and we're still in a good spot. Fast Speed Thermo Beam is probably the sickest thing about this deck. We have the Ledros looking for an Atrocity Close, or just a couple more Fearsomes to really get through. I think he needs to block this. We'll see how greedy he tries to be. Oh, wow, okay. Should have blocked with like a 2 1, I think. Just because I have Withering Whales. I have lots of things. Arlie's phase, huh? Alright. Let's assume Gangplank. We can like hit this, then what? I'll just save it if we need like Ruin it instead. It's probably just a better line. Oh yeah. So this is fine. We can like shoot this brass. This is open attack sucks. And if he delves further, we just have ruination. Like if he drops like GP here, he just pretty much loses. So I just drop ruination into Ledros. 
And even if he tries to open attack, I just have Grass Palm, or Grass plus Darkness as well into Gangplank. So, this is looking very dominating so far. Oh, he's, he's going for it. Okay, buddy, let's see it. Ah. <laughs> And this should just be GG. There's no point dilly dallying. It's very hard for him to block this. You'd have to like trade another GP, play TF Gold card, or have Tenor of Terror. At this point, he's just too far behind. I don't even mind if Ledris dies again. Now that I have another unit, this game's actually just kind of over. Oh my god. So, worst case scenario, he plays another GP. It's probably the scariest thing. It's kind of difficult because I really don't have a good way of interacting with it. I just can't care here. I'll just play these and kill something. Alrighty, buddy. Let's see it. Why not? Now we have two lives with Shellfolk, which is one of the decks that I feel most confident on. And especially if we draw a shelf. <laughs> Again, his TFGP version slightly slower just because they only have two Mariah Wardens, which I think might come to bite them a little bit. But again, his last game was just absolutely slow as hell. We have the attack token as well, which I believe makes us a lot more favored. Alright, this hand's slightly bad. It's the only issue. If we hit Otterpus, we're fine. But right now, I'm not as happy with this hand. I do see Shellfolk, which is okay in this matchup. Obviously, I'd look for Pokey Stick or Removal or Otterpus before that. Station Arcfist is kind of a weird card just because it's very awkward to play it on turn 3. Good news is we can play it on turn 4. This is looking slightly awkward. If he has a really good start, we're in a little bit of trouble. That's not Deckhand, or that's not Corsair, Crackshot, which puts us slightly better. I can take this to uptrade or something. It's not worth it. I don't want to leave my units at one health. The other cards were just kind of ass though. This turn 3 historically sucks. Aloof is a good draw. I play this on turn 5. Double crack shot. It's fine. I probably maybe should have played this. The open attacks I don't really mind either. It's kind of hard to think that he would open attack. Okay. 
How much do I care? I can just play aloof this turn then. I'll kill one of these, save himself a health. This open attack is fine just because it only pushes three. At this point though, I wish I just wasn't taking damage at all. We made it. Yay. But our stuff did it. Mm. That's awkward. I really want to hit Gangplank. Yeah, this hand's slightly awkward, which is not good for us. But his gangplank is pretty far behind. He's got a blue card here. Oh, that's so good for us. It's so slow for him. We get attack first. Push three, give him action. Let's see what's up. I'll call this is a good draw. I'm probably going to play Archivist next turn, so I'll play Conchologist this turn. I'm going to pass just in case he plays GP, I want to have the Thermo ready. If he doesn't develop, I'm fine as well. Nice. One GP down. GP is not going to be level next turn, which is also good for us. Now I have to be a little bit careful of like a make it rain or something. So I think we'll play Archivist to play around both. Lecturing Yordle. These all sort of suck. I'm not even sure if I want to spend the mana here. Maybe we just take Trinket Trade for an Otter Puss. Because I don't know if I want to spend two mana on a Pokey Stick. We'll take Pokey Stick just in case we need it. Depending on how he can develop. Health total is a little bit low, but I think we're close to stabilization. Because this purple bear shade could catch him off guard against the uh, double up as well. Poison dart fates. I think he should might want to attack first just in case I can like kill the crack shot. Yep, that's going face. Another question is, am I safe to play Shelfo? With Trinket Trade, I think it's fine. We'll just swing first. Okay. So ideally, his game plan is to ping my face and then play leveled Gangplank. Which, at the moment, we can't stop. And I think we accept that and just go for Shell Folk here. We're not honestly taking that much damage either, so maybe it's okay. And if he doesn't have Gangplank, then we're just really chilling. No gangplank, let's go. So we know he has a double up, we need to make sure we play very vehemently around it. And we know he has another lecturing yordle. Okay, that's fine. How much damage are we taking? Mm, this is slightly scary. We're gonna have to block down his board and hopefully... Oh, uh, we know we're not hitting like mystic shots either. 
three, six, nine. Perfect draw. This amount of damage is acceptable. We're not leveling Ezreal quite yet, but we can go down a 6 quite comfortably, I think. And then I'd like to figure out what this last card is. Six is fine, I think. And then we should win on next turn. Okay, I, I'm gonna prank first, just to see what this card is, even though it can be saved later for Ezreal. I just don't think I'm gonna need it for that. Down to effective 5. I'm gonna take another double up then. I just represent a lot of damage. And now you can't pair double up with another spell. That always goes face. I'm gonna double up here. Onto PF. I don't want this to level accidentally. And then when he goes for his own double up, I have the blueberry shake. Or the purple berry shake. Nice. And now Ezreal's leveled. We can generate a bunch of spells. Ooh, we need to be able to play around another double up now. Like, I'm gonna go for Conchologist first, look for a way to play around double up. We don't hit one. This is slightly dangerous. Just because we lose another double up. Okay, now, we, now we're fine. I feel... Oh, Ezra's not leveled? Excuse me? You be very careful here. I thought you'd never ask. Oh, God. Oh, thank God. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. Let's stay calm here. You see, and not draw two puff caps here. I can find like a random... no I can't. Oh, I should have played that first, that would have... oh that would have given me 4 damage. Whoops. Make it rain or something? I probably can't take that. Hmm, we should have probably left it alive for double up, that was a mistake, cause now we don't have a unit... oh okay, we're, we're fine here. God. Let us take a peek at life beneath the waves. Get all that? Takes him two actions, so we should be fine, honestly. We need us to die to double up. This actually deals six, huh? Okay. 
And now we can save ourselves from a double because of the mystic. Whew. Damn, that was close.